Welcome back to Kona. Now that we've got dynamite, it's time to blow up the eastern cavern that's near the Lachance's house. Oh, it's dark in here. Some more rifle ammo. Is that it? Just some bonus supplies? I was thinking there would be something I absolutely needed to continue here. I'm thinking though I can probably just continue north. Now that I've found the fourth frozen person, maybe I can get through the ice wall? I was also a little bit worried I'd be attacked on the way out. Alright, time to head north then. Wow, these things really pop at night, don't they? Oh, I also left the pistol inside of the truck, because it actually weighed a bit. I was having some issues with weight, and I only had two more shots for it. And I've got tons of shots for the rifle. So I figured there's really no reason to keep the pistol around. in solitude up until now. Join the others in the forest's darkness. Free at last to enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Harl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck his village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. Yeah, so that did open up the way. How did those spirits make an entire ice wall disappear, though? It's rather strange. Alright. Oh god, it's dark out here. Oh, there's even a key symbol for the ice wall. I don't know if that hiking trail symbol means there's anything there, or if it's just generally indicating that this whole trail is a hiking trail. But there is a tower a little bit further on. So let's just keep following the trail. And how am I doing on heat, by the way? Really good. I'm assuming that the coat that I'm wearing not only allows me to go into the area that uh, I went in before where I would just die without it, but I'm assuming it also lets me lose heat slower. How are we doing on mental state? Actually really bad. Let's smoke some cigarettes. Another diary. Carl felt like someone was trying to communicate with him. Or was it simply the result of happenstance? Glad I brought some wood. There's no wood around here. Oh, another one of those fire arrows. Check that out in a second. The serious journal, page one. The beast has outwitted me. It is aware that I know all of its weaknesses. It is aware of my strength. It is the predator become prey. Through some unknown force, it was able to create a wall made of ice between north and south. The beast did not want to be disturbed. I found a way. It is my destiny to stop it. It is progressing fast, not stopping even for a moment. What is the beast feeding on? 
hate, cold, fear. The elders spoke of the Wendigo. They said it would never return. No warrior, they said, could want to invoke it. The elders were wrong. The Wendigo comes from the Great Spirit. It appears full of hate, with a great thirst for vengeance. The beast I'm tracking seems to be blinded by hate, frustrated. My bolt missed it. It screamed. I thought I could hear his voice behind the bellowing of the beast. The warrior's voice. Was it really the beast running from me, or the man made a prisoner inside? It's tracking two unfortunate white people, already doomed. It smelled them. It's moving slowly, methodically. I will not reach them in time. Perhaps its thirst for vengeance will never be satisfied. Perhaps the beast is unable to reach its intended victim. What if it started to head south? What if it started terrorizing white cities? They would turn to us with planes and bombs. They would decimate our people. White people think only they are allowed to strike. The beast must be stopped. So whoever's... So the person tracking them is trying to kill them with uh, the fire bolts that they're shooting, obviously. So they're tracking the beast, and then at the moment, the beast is or, or was tracking, I think, the two people that probably ran out of that car. This hunt was never-ending. Carl hoped that the hunter had finally triumphed over the beast. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to discard it. Carl had found what he was looking for. He needed to get back on the road. Wait. Hmm? Are they suggesting I go backwards? Wait. Wait, where are we? Why do I not see myself on the map? Uh... That's disturbing. I hope I'm not going, like, past where I should. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to take the... The... The, uh... Crap, I forgot the name of it. The snow thingy. Snowmobile, that's what it's called. I got there in the end. Ooh, hands-free flashlight. Oh, that's great. So yeah, it's the same, except instant and you can hold something at the same time. A quick glance at the scene was enough for Carl to know that a fight had taken place here. The visitors must not have sold their skin so easily. Literally. Oh. The door was unlocked. Carl felt kind of disappointed that he wouldn't have to solve the mystery of that bad lot. No bodies, at least. some wood here there should be a rifle hanging there its owner may not be very far maybe some wood outside Letter for Pierre, Tuesday, March 15th. Pierre, I just want to remind you that there are rules. Rules that are meant to be followed, whether you like it or not. I hear that you've been poaching a lot lately, that you don't even care about being discreet anymore. Heck, I don't even have a chance to pretend I don't see you these days. If I continue to turn a blind eye on this, what will people say? You've gone too far this time, buddy. I'll have to find you.
Pierre the Poacher Ble was definitely not the one who lived here. Indeed, Carl learned earlier that the man had recently been shredded to death by, allegedly, beasts. Thursday, September 24th. Pierre, I thought I told you that you went too far. You've really hit the last straw this time and everyone knows it's you. My friendship with your brother won't save your skin anymore. If you dare touch a single tuft of fur within my jurisdiction, I swear you'll regret it. Like that nice hunting cabin of yours, huh? I'm thinking of hanging a huge padlock on its door. Would be pretty, don't you think? Point is, if you keep on going, you'll be the one behind padlock and bars in the county's jail in... Royan. Royan? Take heed, buddy. Really, take heed. Two blankets. There were doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. Could that have been the people that were frantically running? Did they take refuge here? Two blankets. There were doubtless two people here, Carl reckoned. The jacket was still soaking wet. The poor man had, surely unwillingly, had a taste of the pond's water not too long ago. According to the pay stub, that poor man was Alexandre Blais. Yeah, if it's soaking wet, then probably to survive, they had to come in here and take it off and start a fire. I mean, in this sort of weather, if you get soaked, you're like, you're probably going to die unless you get into somewhere really warm. Your bottle kind of weighs a bit. Let's just drink it right now. Make it on me, but do I want to drop something to take it instead? Eh, I don't need that many med kits, it's fine. Not much to see from a watchtower at night in a blizzard. Kind of surprised I don't see any of those things on the ground glowing in the distance, though. I should super stand out. Yeah, these are definitely not the same wolves as before. I mean, they're coming out of the ground. We saw one uh, one in the cave disappear into the ground. They're like... Ghostly wolves. They're like spirit wolves. I think I see glowy crystals in the distance. There's kind of a pathway over there. Okay, now I show up on the map. Looks like that maybe hooks up with another walking trail. It's a forest fire? Oh, oh, I can build it. I 
it feels so strange to see things that are like still burning and still red hot in in a blizzard. Oh hey, there's a building there. Is that even on the map? No. Looks like it didn't get too badly burnt, kind of just a bit on this corner, but it's mostly intact. The door had been busted down violently, and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. Carl surveyed the chaotic scene, noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, but he knew it didn't bode well. Maybe they thought fire could keep away the cold of the beast? What are we doing on the heat? Ooh, really bad actually. Lovely atmosphere in this game. path do I take? There's a bunch of them. I guess I'll go straight, and then when it hooks up with the, uh, the path again, I'll take a left. Is this the path? I haven't gone far enough, have I? No. Feels dangerous to walk off the path like this. But it's just right here. Oh, another cabin. Firebolt inside of it. Ah. The door was locked. Dang it. With this many bolts fired, the beast now had to have been pierced through and through. Is that soap? Because the key isn't just right outside. Gotta get it from somewhere else. Don't see anything obviously valuable in there. Could just be general supplies, but who knows. There could be a key in a drawer or something. I think I saw the tracks heading off the way that I'm pointing, and that hooks up with another trail. So let's go this way. I saw wolves for a second, but no, I think. What is that? Oh, that's a wolf. Oh, whoa. 
Did I take two shots or did I miss? No, I was just seeing these black bits here. Ah, oh, curtain physics, yes. Even if they do completely intersect the gun in my hands. Another med kit. Oh, I have room for it. Oh, right, because I used up my wood. Is this a pathway that's been blocked, or...? Oh, it is. Okay, so I guess we gotta take the long path around there. Like, kinda go back a bit. How are we doing on ammo, by the way? Uh, I've got two loaded and 20 shots in reserve. Okay, we're good. This way now? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's kind of like a shortcut. Actually, I think I want to go the long way. There might be a cabin or something down there. If we go this way. Should loop around to the left. There's a lot of shortcuts that aren't on the map. Oh, that's not a shortcut, actually. This is the path I want to take. Can I jump up there? Oh. <laughs> Bottle of beer, cool. Yeah, our mental state's really taking a beating out here. Let's go ahead and smoke too, actually. Those just like came into existence. I feel like they're I feel like they're living. Those are people. Oh, those are probably the two people, right? Two more victims of this ice plague. Carl felt a chill down his spine. What if he was next? Oh. Crowbar. I know exactly where to use that. I can use that to open up the uh, the secret project gate. I'm like slightly curious if I swing it at him, will I break him? No, I can't hit him.
Do they have horns? Wait, is that the beast? There's an arrow in it. Carl felt the strong pull of a vision overcome him. simple hunting accident. There was Hamilton. Carl recognized him. A major hunting accident. The doctor examined the young woman. But death couldn't be overturned. She was dead. not the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. It had to be hidden. No one could know about this. The best way to do that was to have a simple-minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte, the mechanic. denied the unfair death of the young woman. But Hamilton had him in his grips. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate to reveal them. I know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. understood the ins and outs of the affair. A woman had been killed in an unfair accident, and a young warrior had damned himself to avenge her. But Hamilton, the one responsible, had already been killed, and so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance. And now, recklessly, Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart. A beast who was but a young free man lost without his fiancée, and who had, out of hatred, become Wendigo. Looks like a bit of a boss arena. I get the feeling that's not doing anything. to take a first aid kit. Also, my mental state is zero. Do I just keep shooting?
Hold on, I think we need to take a smoke break. <laughs> Just a casual smoke. Maybe I just run, then? shot. Oh fuck. Um, hmm, flares are not gonna do anything. Uh, I guess it's gotta be the hatchet then. Shit. Stats do a uh, mental state, terrible health, mediocre. Smoke. <laughs> Should I smoke again? <laughs> Cemetery. Um, I think I should. Should I heal? Yeah, it's not even going to heal me all the way, so I won't be wasting any of it. Help me! Do I- can I free them by, like, chopping them? <laughs> I don't think it's working. I'm sorry, Spirit Wolf. tracks. How are we doing on heat? Uh, actually, not too bad, like 40%. Trying to get inside the fence. Shit. Hmm. 
Let's hope this thing starts. Do I actually get to pilot it? Oh! When you disappeared, so did Purity. I would defend Purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Could it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance? The soulful doctor, avenging his fiancée's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover. Are these passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm, petrify people deep inside, create monsters? Is this the end of the game? Huh. Well, that certainly raises the, the question of Actually, that raises a bunch of questions. Uh, the biggest one is, what is the secret project? I only got the ability to look at what that was when I was right next to the end, so I'd have to run all the way back through the forest, go back to my vehicle, drive there. Be quite a lot of work, but... Huh. I didn't think I was anywhere near the end, to be honest. I didn't even get to use the snowmobile. I thought that would have been required for something, but I guess it was just for... I don't know, for, for fun, I guess? <laughs> I wonder what it was like to drive. And I never found what that key was for. That small key. That wasn't for a door. And uh, Hamilton's place was on the map. I just assumed because it was on the map I would get to go there, but no. It just... I guess it's not like a, a problem or anything like that. It just feels weird because I was really expecting to be able to do those things. But... Huh. Okay. Well, uh, let's wrap up with some thoughts on Kona. I thought it was good but also rough around the edges. I really enjoyed the overall atmosphere and how everything looked and, and felt. Like driving felt and looked great. Uh, I love um, just the atmosphere of everything being snowy, blizzardy. It felt really kind of repressive, right? Like it's you against the elements, even though the, the survival aspects were not particularly hard to manage or anything like that. That really is a very minor thing in the game. It still felt there, and it felt like something I had to think about, trying to make sure that I always had wood, get to the next fireplace. I love just how it felt to be out in the elements, your heat going down, your mental state going down, worried about wolves coming, blizzard, just driving wind and snow into your eyes, and all the trees just going all over the, over the place from the wind. Just felt really good and really... Like, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't I shouldn't be alive. It's kind of a miracle that I'm still alive. I gotta really fight for my existence. And I liked how the uh, the feel of how big the map was changed pretty dramatically once you were able to get gas in the, the truck again. Because before that, I spent a pretty substantial amount of time having to go on foot, and that really changes a lot of things. It makes it feel much more desperate going from place to place on foot. A lot of long, lonely walks, wondering if I'd have enough heat to make it all the way. And once you get the vehicle, that changes. You really don't have to... Uh, it really expands how big the map is. You can go anywhere and you don't really need to worry about heat for the most part. Everything was faster to get to and a lot of places that I were kind of out of the way and I didn't really want to walk to, I could just drive to it. So it kind of sort of... It's like a soft opening up of the map, like, literally speaking, you could go to those places before getting the car up and working, but with the car, it's a lot more practical to go to these places. And I thought the sound work was fantastic, too. So some of the stuff I don't like about it, I really didn't like Carl the character. I didn't like how they were written, I found them annoying, and they made just really silly observations that I wish they just didn't make. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't like Carl at all. Uh, I didn't like the inventory management. The inventory is really clumsy and weird. I wish it was more clear on how to make the caribou, because that would have allowed me to progress a lot faster and not have to Google what to do next. I also wish it didn't have the loading screens. You know, it's got those strange loading screens where, well, it doesn't actually take you to a different screen, but little thing appears in the center of the screen and everything freezes except the sound. 
Well, and you can also rotate your character's view around, but you can't actually move anywhere. Yeah, those kind of made, like, they weren't a huge deal, but they made the world feel a little bit smaller. Because I know if I, especially if I drove anywhere, I knew I'd be hitting a loading screen within, within at most, like, the next 20 seconds or so. So I can kind of, like, feel the discrete zones that the map is divided into. Kind of broke the flow a little bit. Again, not a huge deal, but I would have liked it if it was, uh, I guess, kind of like just streaming that data in or something rather than loading it at discrete points. And yeah, the end really does feel abrupt. I don't know, it just feels like it got cut shorter than it should have been. It just feels very strange. But uh, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. So that has been Kona. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.